Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at how to disable that crash report that probably pops up for a majority of people that are running Crouton on the Chromebook, and not just Crouton on the Chromebook, but Linux in general. Now, that's not saying that these crash reports are bad, it's just saying that there's a lot of them that are extremely annoying that pop up and we're just closing and going about our business anyways. There's always a way of going back and checking your backlog so you can see if you are having a problem of what is going uh, is particularly going wrong. So don't think that just because we're disabling it that you're not going to be able to figure anything out. So what you're going to need to do is open up your terminal. And from your terminal you're going to need to either have two different versions, or sorry, two choices to pick from when it comes to uh, editing a file. And that's going to be gedit and that's also going to be nano. I'm personally going to be using nano because it's going to be within my terminal and it keeps uh, everything just a little bit cleaner for me. So uh, if you need to download either one of those you can look in the description and there'll be uh, quick commands that you just type into your terminal to get that go ahead and download it. So what you're going to need to do is after you have one of those downloaded is you go ahead and type in this command. And what we're looking for as you see is the app port. App port, sorry. I just want to see app port. I don't know. It's however you say it, whatever. Anyways, getting back to what we're talking about here, uh, that so that's going to be basically everything that you know gets those little dialog boxes that pop up, say you know uh, something unexpectedly has crashed, you know report it or just cancel. So we're just going to completely get rid of that. So once you have that typed, you go ahead and press enter. Go ahead and type in your password, and you're going to see it here. Now it's very simple. The first three lines, these little pound signs, these are going to be meet, uh, that actually stands for comments. So what it's saying here is, you know, if you want to get rid of everything, you just come down to the very bottom where it says enabled. You just go ahead and delete it. Press zero, and you have everything uh, set. Now you got to make sure you save it correctly. So since we're in Nano, it's going to be a little bit different than gedit. Gedit, you can just go up to the top, press File, Save As. For this, we're going to need to press. press enter, it wrote four lines, and then you're going to press control X, and you've backed out of it. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it should take care of it right away. Uh, if you do get another crash record, just go ahead and uh, restart your your Crouton installation, and it should take care of that, and you should stop getting those. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below.